So the key thing we want to get across here is that eggs are super, super healthy. Yeah. I mean, you know, a doctor once said to me, he said, uh, how are healthy are eggs? Well, it's got everything you need to start life. So therefore, if you just say eggs are nothing but eggs, you probably wouldn't be lacking anything. It's true. Though. I mean, they're so versatile as well. You can poach them, you can boil them, you can scramble them, fry them, put them into anything you want to bake. Um, they're just they're, they're a nutrition powerhouse as well. Absolutely. And one of the reasons we're keen on eggs is because we mainly have them for breakfast. And a lot of people in the past, me included, uh, before I learned all this, used to think cereals were super healthy. I mean, yeah. how many times have you and I in the last couple of years got frustrated by the messages on the cereal boxes saying healthy for this, healthy for that, fortified with this, high fiber, high this, the other. But the reality is they all turn into heaps of sugar inside the body. Exactly, and everything impacts our blood glucose, but eggs, they have no impact. And yet they're so protein packed, they're so good for you. Um, so what are we going to make today? We're going to make some egg muffins. Just have a little quick look at this though. If you're first time you're sort of watching this with us, you're going to be surprised because have a look how much a small bowl. And by the way, this is a 30 gram portion. So this is a tiny, tiny, tiny portion. My son, before we learned all this, used to have cornflakes and he was nine, no, he was 10 at the time, Tom. Nine, nine or ten. Uh, and we measured his. He was at 80 grams per serving, yeah. which at 80 grams, you're over 16 teaspoons of sugar effect. In other words, that cornflakes breaks down inside the body to the same amount of sugar as two cans of Coke. Well, exactly. And then you're going to send your children off to school dosed full of sugar. Yeah. Um, and then they're hungry. They literally just want a snack. The second you get out of the car and you go into school, they're like, I want a snack now. Yeah, because you just had a massive cereal. No. <laughs> You've had a massive cereal. Why do you want a snack? Because what happens is, because it all turns into so much sugar quickly inside the body, more than one teaspoon in the bloodstream is effectively a poison. Therefore, insulin releases. It grabs it. It stores it. You're hungry by 11 o'clock. So... Anyway, enough bashing the cereals. Yeah. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Shop around for your eggs. Currently, at the time of going to, uh, uh, to make this film for you, uh, we found them in Tesco's at 10 pence per egg was the best deal. Uh, but use the link above, because on the link above, we're going to update frequently the cost of all these meals. But we're about to do three egg muffins for 99 pence. Let's go and get started. Yeah. So what have you got to put in your egg muffins today? So we've got a few ingredients. We've got obviously the eggs. We've got some mushrooms, some button mushrooms, some bacon, uh, spinach, and we're going to just fry the first ingredients off, which will be your um, spinach, your bacon, and your mushrooms, often a little bit of butter. And that's it. And then they're just going to go straight into the oven for probably about 15 to 20 minutes until you've got a solid muffin. And then you can, as you, you know, we could eat them for breakfast, we can have them for lunch, you can have them for dinner, you can have salads with them, or you can have them on the go as a snack. Could you reheat it in the microwave if you took them to work? You've got to be a little bit careful. I'd probably say... Eat them cold. Are on the side of caution, eat them cold. Pop yeah. them in the fridge as soon as you get in and yeah. just enjoy them cold. Maybe, maybe take some vegetables with you that you can warm on the side. But yeah, eat them cold. Right, let's get going. So you're just dicing everything up. Yep. Uh, my guess is you're going to fry the bacon... Probably first, because it takes yes. a bit longer than the mushrooms. Then the mushrooms. Then throw your spinach in to sort of saute it a little bit. Then you're going to drop those into your three egg cups. It's roughly one egg per muffin. That's the easy way to remember. So if you want three muffins, uh, you have three eggs. If you want two muffins, you have two eggs. But we've costed this at three eggs. I mean, that's a lot of eggs in the morning. So big, healthy breakfast, all for under a pound. Yes, it's true. And I mean, you've got such nice ingredients as well. Ingredients that are good for you, that are going to keep your blood sugars nice and stable throughout the morning. Loads of protein. Win-win, um, really. And of course, you could swap anything out, couldn't you? So you could, if you don't want bacon, you prefer sausage, you put sausage in, you could put ham in. If you, what, what have you got in the fridge? That's the other thing. You know, what have you got available that you can throw in? It doesn't even have to have meat. You could just put some more vegetables. You could put chopped, you know, chopped little bits of chorizo if you do want uh, uh, some more different types of... I mean, anything you want to put in. I would say these are a great thing to make on a Sunday evening when your fridge is looking a little bit bare, things need eating, you know, the spinach is looking a little bit wilted literally just get 
all the eggs you've got left and throw them throw them together and just use what you've got Brilliant. and pop them into these muffins and then you've got something for the children for their packed lunches you've got something for yourself you've got quick breakfast on the go i mean my daughter sometimes wakes up at literally 10 to 8 when we need to get out of the house and i just want to give her something to eat and get and you know get out and go to school <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right. right so bacon first yep mushrooms spinach just pop it in Popping and again, in. when it comes to bacon, you can have smoked bacon if, if you like the flavour of that. Uh, if you want it unsmoked, that works as well. Uh, if you don't like bacon, if you like fish, if you've got even a, even if you've got a can of tuna, in there, we just yeah. experiment with it. But we've costed this out at ninety nine p under a pound for a super healthy breakfast. So we're just going to fry off the bacon. We're going to add in the mushrooms. In fact, we'll, we can just add it add that in now as well. Just fry them off because you're frying the mushrooms off in the bacon fat, which will just taste so delicious. I'll tell you what you can do. Mm -hmm. You could whisk these eggs. Okay. So pop them, crack them into the bowl. Okay, give me, because I, I know how, how I do it, but is this the right way? So I always take a knife upside down, go up like that. Is that how you do it, or is it a better way? Well, I mean, I literally just... On the side. Straight onto the, onto the bowl, but... Do you? But when I do that, though, it runs all down the side of the bowl and it makes my bottom up, <laughs> it makes the work surface all... However, messy. however is the however easiest way for you, and then... You can season it with a little bit of. Um, I probably wouldn't add any more salt because you've got the saltiness of the of the um, bacon, haven't you? Yeah. Um, but if you wanted, you could add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper to your egg egg mix. Yeah. Um, you're literally just. Or if you like chili, you could put a bit of chili flakes you in. You could. If you yeah. want them hot. A little bit of parmesan, cheese, whatever yeah. you've got, really. If you want to add cheese on at the end, if you like cheese on toast, here's a tip: put them in the oven, which you'll see us doing in a moment. And then another tip is when they've started to rise, put, bring them out, put a little bit of cheese on the top, put them back in for a few minutes. It's like, ah, oh, gorgeous. Exactly. So many nice flavour combinations, aren't there? Yeah, we should say this is like, there's probably a hundred different versions of this. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, yeah, we'll just do one show dedicated to muffin omelette. Well, <laughs> egg muffins. So while Emma's finishing that, let me just quickly explain. We're using a silicon sort of, muffin -y tray. Yeah. You can use a metal one, you can use any type you like, but we like the silicon ones because A, they last forever, B, they pop out nice and easy. I mean, yes. They're just brilliant, aren't they? And they're just, they're just fantastic. Uh, and with the silicon one, you probably don't need to grease it as much or even at all. But if you're using a, a metal one, just get a blob of, blob of butter, run it around the inside so it doesn't stick. No, I mean, silicon is amazing. And you can freeze, the, you can freeze these trays you can, like, yeah, as you say, you can pop them straight in the oven, any temperature, and they are fantastic, and they last forever. So what we're going to do is add, would you like to do this? So I don't know if you do it the same as the way I do it, so I just get this now. So we've got the bacon, we've got the spinach. Do you do the same as me? You just put them in the bottom? I add a little bit into the bottom. Um, I then what, add, I, I do what you're doing, I add a little bit into the bottom. Yep. I then add my egg mixture, and then I add a little bit more on top. Because ah. otherwise, what I find is that all the all the ingredients stay on the bottom. Right, got um, you. So we've probably got enough here for four. We were only going to do three, but let's see if we've got enough for four. There we go. Or you could leave that and put it on the side, couldn't you? Yeah. No. There we go. So you're just going to add. So you pour it so it's just under the rim, nice and simple. Are we going to have four? Are we going to get four out of this for 99p? This is incredible. There we go. Wow. And what you will find is that they rise beautifully. Yeah. But when you take them out of the oven, yeah. they will they will lose their, lose their rise quite quickly. So uh, how long are you putting it in? What sort of temperature do you normally use? I'm doing 180 and I would say for around 15 to 20 minutes, just keep an eye on them. Obviously, yeah. every single oven is different. Yeah. Um, so just... Yeah, keep an eye. That annoys me when you're reading a cookbook. It must be this temperature no, for this I amount know. of time. Every oven is different. The gauges often aren't uh, accurate. The, the way the, the convection works, the, the, the way the heat moves around, every oven's different. So approximately in there, 15, 20 minutes. If you've got a glass front, just keep looking. If you haven't got a glass front, keep peeking inside. You want to see them rising up out of the cups.